we want to decompress. We want to create length in the spine. Is that actually possible? I don't know, but I know that we can lengthen the muscles around. And sometimes just lengthening those muscles, it brings blood flow in. We are lengthening muscles and fascia. We're getting elasticity. We're getting nutrients in. And we're also calming tight muscles. Stretching, mild to moderate with extended hold times. I would love to be able to do a hamstring stretch if somebody has a disc issue. Why? If this is tight, I can pull my pelvis down and cause pain in my lower back. So I really don't want tight hamstrings muscularly. But the other thing I don't want is tight glute, tight hamstring pushing on the nerves all the way down. If they can tolerate a hamstring stretch, I'm gonna actually add a little ankle pump. Gently, I can glide that nerve as well. Just having that sliding action of the nerve in its sheath can also help relieve symptoms of the nerve. Now, if they have an acute issue, they may not even tolerate a hamstring stretch. That might make their back hurt. Stability. Stability exercises. I usually start with them in supine. Easy supported position. The most unloaded position for my spine is laying on the back with the knees bent, both legs bent up on the table with me or elevated to 90 degrees. Our goal is to stabilize the spine. So we're going to look for deep abdominals and we're going to look for spinal stabilizers, multifidus if we can, and we need to look for balance.